2026 is quietly shaping up to be one of the most important years in Apple's history. For a company known for secrecy, the last few months have been unusually loud. Leaks are coming from supply chains, analysts, patents, and even former employees. And all of them point to the same idea. Apple is preparing a massive shift. Not just a new iPhone, not just an update, but a complete attempt to redefine its future. For years, Apple dominated technology by setting the rules. Today, it is under pressure like never before. Competitors are moving faster, innovation cycles are slowing, and investors are asking difficult questions. This is why 2026 matters. According to multiple reports, Apple is working on several projects that could decide whether it leads again or fades into safe stagnation. Apple's innovation problem. Apple is still one of the most powerful companies on earth. Its ecosystem is unmatched. Its brand loyalty is enormous. But something has changed. The excitement is weaker. Annual updates feel predictable. The shock factor is gone. Analysts from Bloomberg and the Financial Times have noted that Apple no longer leads innovation. It follows alongside competitors. Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, and others are pushing new form factors, AI features, and experimental designs faster than Apple. Internally, this has created tension. Reports suggest leadership is under pressure for missing the early AI wave. While companies like NVIDIA, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI built massive AI infrastructure, Apple focused on refinement instead of disruption. The transparent iPhone project, one of the most talked about leaks is Apple's work on a transparent or semi-transparent iPhone. According to supply chain sources in Korea and Taiwan, Apple has been experimenting with advanced transparent display technology for more than five years. The goal is not just visual novelty. The idea is to merge AI, augmented reality, and daily interaction into a single object. A device that does not block the world, but blends into it. Insiders claim prototypes use hybrid OLED panels, micro displays, and AI-optimized chips. Interface elements could appear as floating visuals rather than traditional screens. The phone becomes a window instead of a slab. Most analysts agree this is extremely difficult. Heat control, battery life, privacy, durability, and cost are major challenges. This is why a full release is unlikely before 2028. But Apple may preview prototypes in 2026 to signal a comeback. The foldable iPhone finally approaches. Another major leak involves the foldable iPhone. Unlike competitors, Apple has taken its time. Reports from Bloomberg and ET News confirm that Apple is testing two foldable designs, a flip-style phone and a book-style device that unfolds into a small tablet. Apple's focus is reliability. Engineers want the crease to be almost invisible. The hinge must survive years of use. The device must feel premium when closed, not hollow or fragile. The real importance of the foldable iPhone is not the screen, it is the ecosystem. When unfolded, the device could run tablet-style workflows, professional apps, and even act as a workspace extension for Vision OS. This positions the foldable iPhone as a bridge between iPhone, iPad, and future AR devices. If Apple launches it successfully, the foldable market could expand dramatically. Apple Car returns from the shadows. The Apple Car was once considered dead. Years of delays, canceled teams, and internal disagreements buried the project. But new leaks suggest it is back. The trigger appears to be Xiaomi's rapid success in electric vehicles. Xiaomi proved that a consumer tech company can enter the auto industry and succeed quickly. This alarmed Apple's leadership. According to Bloomberg, Apple has restarted internal discussions and reorganized its automotive team. The new strategy is more realistic. No full level five autonomy. Instead, a smart electric car deeply integrated into Apple's ecosystem. The car would rely on Apple Silicon, advanced driver assistance, and seamless integration with iPhone, vision devices, and services. It becomes part of a digital lifestyle, not just transportation. A mass-produced Apple car is still years away. But internal work in 2026 signals Apple's refusal to sit out the future. Apple's AI chip war with NVIDIA, Perhaps the most critical leak involves Apple's move into AI processors. NVIDIA currently dominates AI infrastructure. Its GPUs power almost every major AI system in the world. 
Apple does not want to depend on NVIDIA. According to reports, Apple has launched an internal project to develop its own AI-focused processors. These chips are designed for both data centers and local on-device AI. The goal is independence, faster AI features, better privacy, and control over Apple's future. Sources say Apple is hiring engineers from NVIDIA, AMD, and AI research labs. If successful, this could be Apple's most important strategic move of the decade. It turns Apple from an AI follower into a platform builder. The holographic iPad concept. Leaks also mention a holographic iPad, a device capable of projecting depth-based visuals without glasses or headsets. This builds on Vision Pro research but removes the friction. Instead of wearing hardware, users interact directly with spatial content. Hands, eyes, and movement become input. Analysts describe it as a bridge between tablets and spatial computing. This device would also debut Apple's new AI architecture, local intelligence, real-time interaction, no cloud dependency. After the mixed reception of Vision Pro, Apple needs a simpler and more accessible spatial product. The holographic iPad could be that product. But here is the part most leaked videos miss. Even if every one of these projects is real, Apple can still lose the moment if it cannot ship them in a way that feels like Apple. Because in 2026, the market will not reward prototypes, it will reward proof. People do not just want to hear that Apple is working on something, they want to see a clear direction, a clear product story, and a clear reason to believe again. That is why the real battle is not only hardware, it is timing, messaging, and execution. If Apple shows a transparent iPhone demo that looks fragile, drains battery fast, or feels like a science project, the story flips instantly. Instead of Apple is back, headlines become Apple is desperate. And once that narrative spreads, it is hard to reverse. Another reason 2026 feels so intense is that competitors are not slowing down. Samsung keeps pushing foldables, thinner designs, and AI features that feel more visible each year. Huawei keeps proving it can survive restrictions and still build premium devices. Xiaomi is not just making phones anymore, it is trying to build an entire ecosystem, including electric vehicles. And in AI, companies like Google and Microsoft are treating AI like the new operating system, something that touches every app, every workflow, every device. Apple cannot respond with small upgrades anymore. It needs at least one thing in 2026 that makes people say, okay, that is different. Not different in a gimmick way, but different in a way that creates a new standard. Realistically, the most likely first win for Apple in 2026 might not be the transparent iPhone or the Apple Car. Those are huge, risky, and slow. The more believable near-term win is AI, because Apple can improve intelligence across iPhone, iPad, and Mac without changing the physical design overnight. If Apple reveals a serious AI platform that feels private, fast, and deeply integrated, that alone could change the conversation. Imagine an assistant that works smoothly across apps, understands context, edits photos and videos instantly, summarizes messages properly, and does it mostly on device. That would feel like a real leap, especially if Apple positions it as safer and more personal than cloud-based AI. And if Apple pairs that with new chips built for AI tasks, it creates a second layer of confidence. It tells developers, build here, this is the platform. That is how Apple normally wins, not by shouting, but by creating an environment others must follow. The question is whether it can do it again. Apple is standing at a crossroads. Transparent devices, foldable phones, AI chips, electric vehicles, spatial computing. All roads lead to one moment. If Apple succeeds, the next decade belongs to it. If it fails, it becomes a follower in a world it once ruled. What do you think? Is Apple preparing its biggest comeback ever, or is this too little too late? If you found this breakdown useful, like the video, subscribe for more deep tech investigations, and turn on notifications so you do not miss what happens next.